This week is Identity Theft Awareness Week. And the government reports that victims of medical record breaches has hit an all-time high, 116 million patients mm. nationwide. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan joining us here this morning with Smart Sense to protect yourself. Hey, Heather. Yeah, good morning. Well, you know, when we think of identity theft, we think about stolen credit card information, but it's medical record theft that is rising fast because your medical records are actually worth 10 times as much as your stolen credit card on the black market. Imagine having your private medical records exposed. The whole thing has been very overwhelming and it's become, yeah, it's, it's very uh, anxiety producing it's just it's very stressful. Elena Shaffy says she's one of 70 patients whose sensitive medical records and pictures from the Beverly Hills plastic surgery office of Dr. Gary Modicky were posted on a public website in 2023. Dr. Modicky filed a report with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office that he received a demand for a $2.5 million ransom for the records. It was very disturbing firstly to see the contents of this website um, and then in addition to that seeing everyone else's information everyone else's financial their you know their entire medical history the department of health and human services says 540 healthcare organizations were breached nationwide last year they're not getting more frequent but the number of records that are affecting are getting larger so a one breach may affect more records or more have may affect more sensitive records than breaches in the past. Researcher Paul Bischoff with Comparatech says the most breach facilities are specialist clinics, which are often smaller offices and sometimes have less security, followed by health insurance, hospitals, and networks. While electronic records are most targeted, paper records can also be stolen or disposed of improperly. Yes, there are surgeons who do protect patient information, but there are so many who don't because, you know, this, things cost money. Software costs money. When records are breached, the Identity Theft Resource Center says not only can thieves use your financial information to run up credit card and loan debt, they can use your health insurance for medical procedures, causing debts and inaccuracies on your records that can prevent you from getting care. And they can use your images and diagnosis to extort money. That being leveraged more in sort of a ransom type of situation, extortion, where the patients are being contacted or the entity is being told, the, the breached entity is being told, we will expose this information. Patient advocates recommend taking steps to protect your records. You need to get copies of your medical record and your chart as you go through the progress. Don't wait till you're done. And avoid giving out unnecessary information at the doctor's office. They don't all need to have your social security number. They don't all need to have every piece of data about you. So ask questions. Why do you need this? Health and Human Services plans to propose new cybersecurity requirements and resources for hospitals through Medicare and Medicaid this spring. The American Hospital Association issued a statement that AHA supports voluntary consensus-based cybersecurity practices and will continue to work collaboratively with HHS and other federal partners to enhance cybersecurity efforts for the entire health care field. Some patient advocates say more oversight is needed. Maybe the Department of Justice uh, or medical boards uh, that actually go in and enforce uh, these HIPAA-compliant regulations that exist. Shafi is now suing over the breach. Very expensive financially. It's very expensive emotionally, uh, spiritually. And it, it just, it's, you know, you're supposed to go to a doctor for them to help you heal you. We reached out to Dr. Modaki, but we have not heard back yet. His attorneys told the Department of Justice that they have secured credit monitoring for the potentially impacted individuals. Now, here are some steps you can take to help protect yourself. Keep your credit frozen at all three credit bureaus until you need it. Use different passwords and multi-factor identification on all of your digital accounts, including patient portals. Read your ex explanation of benefits, those EOBs, for any medical care procedures that you didn't receive. 
receive. Dispute any errors on your medical records in writing by certified mail and keep your prescriptions and medical papers in a safe place. And you'll find more on Sullivan Smart Sense on Fox26Houston.com. So you mentioned they're also getting copies of your medical records. How does that actually even help? Yeah, so the, what their experts are suggesting is if your medical record has been used by someone else, it may have some of their information on it, which can complicate mm -hmm. things for you. So if you have some of your original records, that can help you to get some of that corrected. Hmm. It would just that be is helpful. So frustrating. Yeah. Thank you for bringing this aware of all this mess and yeah. try to protect ourselves as much as we can. People would just leave people alone yes. in their Thank identity. You. Just leave nice. people. I mean, that would be helpful, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Then you wouldn't have a job, Heather. You gotta That's watch out for them. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. All right, thanks so much.